this is Irene Woods. In this video, we're going to be working on Tier 1 of the Bulky Fair Isle Round Yoke Pullover. I'm using a Brother 260 Bulky for the demonstrations, but it, this sweater can actually be made on the LK150 and the Brother KX350 basic plastic bed knitting machines as well. The main difference is Brother Bulky Machines use a punch card to select patterns and the plastic machines, the LK150 and the KX350, must have all needles selected manually. But other than that, this video covers almost exactly the same techniques and methods that you would use on the plastic machines as well. We're now going to work on the yoke on the bulky fair isle pullover. There are not enough needles on a bulky machine to knit this in two pieces, which is the way we would normally knit a yoke. So we're going to have to knit it in four. And that means there will be a yoke section for the back one for the front, and those two are identical, and then one for each of the sleeves. Right now I'm set up to do the back. I'm in a very small space, and I can't back the camera up enough to show you the entire bed, so we're going to have to do the best we can with this. <clears throat> I have already done the waist yarn and ravel cord and hung the weights. And I've also put the punch card in the machine and it is locked on row one. The carriage is set for normal knitting. I'm going to knit one row across to the left. Now I'm going to turn the change knob to KC. That's the only thing I'm going to do. Just move the knob. When I knit back to the right, as you can see, it has selected the needles for the first row of pattern. Release the card. Make sure that you don't go back to the double length. You need to have that knob in the center position. Again, double check that your KC knob is on KC and push in the ferrule button. That's the middle button in the center of the carriage. I'll stop in just a minute when I get it part way across. Also put the contrast yarn in feeder B. There is no gate on feeder B. The yarn just snaps into place. And this is the ferrule button. Make sure that it's pushed in. Then we're going to knit three rows. The next row on the card is blank and it will be just a row of plain main color. However, the carriage has brought the two end needles forward. Push them back right now. If you don't push them back, those end stitches will drop. And when I knitted that row of main color, as you can see, it brought out the pattern stitches. I mean, I'm sorry, the pattern needles again. Put the contrast yarn back in the carriage. knitted nine rows in pattern. We've reached another blank row on the card, which means we need one row of main color only. Push the end needles back.
take the contrast yarn out of the carriage and knit one row. And again, it has brought the pattern needles out for the next row. Put the contrast yarn back in feeder B and knit three rows. Remove the contrast yarn and cut it. Push the end needles back. one row. Push those end needles back again. Now we're ready to do the decreases and at this point it's really safer to reset the carries so that it will only knit stockinette. Just in case something goes wrong you don't want to have a whole bunch of dropped contrast stitches to pick up. Mark the needles that will be decreased by bringing them forward slightly. We're going to make a total of 18 decreases. And so I'm going to pull the fifth needle forward two times, and then the fourth needle 13 times, and then the fifth needle three times. And then what we're going to do is transfer those needles that are slightly forward to the next needle beside them, a neighboring needle. Repeat this all the way across the bed. Knit one row. At this point it's time to remove the work. You can either take it off on waste yarn, use a garter bar, or a circular knitting needle. And for this tier, I'm going to use a circular knitting needle. I bought these in a package that I believe had 13 sizes from eBay several years ago, but the last time I looked, they still had them. What I'm going to do first is remove the weights, any yarn clips, and anything that's dangling. I actually like this method. This was one that I learned oh, would have been probably the winter of 1973 or 1974 when I got my very first brother machine. It was a mail order machine and I had to teach myself out of a book, which is not a method I recommend by the way, but I did eventually learn how to do it. One of the things that was in the tutorial that came with that machine was an instruction to remove your work on a double-ended needle. And since I learned to do that first, that's probably why I like it, but I think it has a lot of advantages. It's actually for me, it's faster a lot of times than using waste yarn, although I do use waste yarn. Um, depending upon what I'm doing, a garter bar can be a little more practical, but for this particular project, I think it's almost as easy to just remove it on a circular needle and put it back on that way. And when it comes time to put it back on, I'm going to show you two ways to do that. 
I'll finish taking this off and then I'll be back. We know that we took out a total of 18 stitches, that we decreased a total of 18 stitches. So what I'm going to do is first bring these empty needles back to work position. And then I'm going to take eight, I'm sorry, nine back to position A on each side. Now we know from the pattern that we need a total of 63 needles in work position. And after taking nine needles back on each side, that's exactly what I have from needle 31 left to 32 right. I'm going to put these back on the bed. The nice thing about a double-ended needle, and in this case a circular one, which has two ends, you can just slide everything down the cord up to the other point. There are two ways to get this back on the bed. First way is to take a transfer tool and go from left to right through the center of the stitch. Transfer that off onto the transfer tool and then just like you normally would do, put it back in a needle. Now as long as you're not working with a tension that is too tight, this is a, another easy way to get it back on. You're bringing a needle up from behind through the center of the stitch and transfer it back into the needle hook. Either method works, it works just fine. So I'm going to put all the fabric back on the bed, and then I'll be back. 